In this video, what we're gonna look at is another case where we're dividing a polynomial by a binomial. This one actually is a little different. The reason for that is that I'm working with a cubic. Yes, this is a trinomial, but I am working with a cubic. So I'm not able to use my conventional factoring methods here. I'm gonna show you how to apply the long division process to this one. And there's kind of a trick that you have to be aware of. If you're missing a power on x, you can see here I'm actually missing an x squared term. I can't just go ahead and, and proceed with my polynomial long division like normal. What I have to do is add what I call a placeholder for the x squared term. If you don't do this, you will not get the correct answer for your polynomial long division problem and you're gonna be a very unhappy person. The rest of the method should be exactly the same. So we're gonna start by taking 4x cubed and saying, well, what's 4x cubed divided by 2x? Remember, we're gonna write that above the x squared term, which is your, your zero x squared. So right away you can see you'd run into some trouble if you didn't have that placeholder there. I'm then gonna take that two x squared, I'm gonna multiply by two x, and I'm gonna place the result of that right underneath my four x cubed. Remember, we should always get the same value here. These terms need to cancel out, so we choose that number and that power on x accordingly. And then I also take that term and I say, well, what's two x squared times one? In this case, I get two x squared, and remember, we're gonna subtract here. I don't have any negatives, so I'm not gonna put brackets around my second expression. These two terms are gonna cancel. I've got zero minus two with an x squared, so I should end up with negative two x squared. Remember, I like to take a break here and just take a look at what I have. I haven't made any mistakes that I can see. And I'm gonna proceed by bringing down that nine x, because if I don't, I won't have enough terms to continue my polynomial long division. Remember, I kind of think of this like I'm done with these expressions up here and I start over by looking at my new expression. I'm just gonna erase those though because it's not really nice to have scribbles all over your work. I'm gonna say, well, what's negative two x squared divided by two x? I just need a negative x to make that happen. I take that negative x and just like always, I, I take it and I multiply by both the two x and the one and I place the result of that multiplication underneath my current expression. So negative x times two x, like negative two x squared, negative x times one, I get negative x. When I do my subtraction here, I gotta be very careful because I do have some negatives that I'm working with. So I put the, the second expression in brackets and my first two terms cancel out as always. I do have nine x minus negative x. That's the same as adding an x. So I should end up with 10 x. Remember, just like always, before I continue, I've gotta bring down my negative 12 so that I can continue my polynomial long division. It's a good idea to take a breath here, just check, make sure everything checks out. And like always, it's okay to just kind of ignore all of your work up until this point and just proceed to finish your polynomial long division problem. I'm gonna erase those scribbles though, just to make, keep things neat. I'm gonna say, okay, well, what's 10X divided by 2X? I get five. And if I just take that five and I multiply by both terms, my 2X and my one, you'll see here that I get 10X, right? Five times 2X and five times one is five. So I get a nice little expression here. If I'm to subtract these two expressions, my first two terms cancel out nicely. I get negative 12 minus five, also known as negative 17. Remember, it's kind of a good idea to summarize your work in a statement of some sort. And you'll recall, maybe if you watched the previous video lesson, what we can do is just simply write out our original expression. There's really no need to rewrite my zero placeholder. It's kind of a, a useless piece of information in your final answer here. You can take your original expression, you can say, okay, if I take that expression and I divide it by my divisor of 2x plus 1, I'm going to get the result of uh, this trinomial with, with some remainder. And remember that we, we put that remainder over top of our divisor. And the reason that we do that is that if we were to multiply a binomial up to the other side, we want that to get cancelled out nicely in such a way that we'd get this expression that we could use to check our answer. And you'll recall that you can do that just by distributing to the brackets and collecting your like terms. And you'll see that you, you should in fact get back that original trinomial. It's important to state your restrictions also. Remember, we don't want math to explode and end up dividing by zero. We cannot divide by negative one half. There's actually a typo here. This Sorry, that should be 2x plus one. Thanks for watching.